gravity. Like Sarah Bareilles is one of my number one all time favorite artists. And that song in particular, I've covered and put on YouTube before, which I think I've removed before the airing of these episodes, just to try to hide it a little more. But um, you know, these songs are ones that have been near and dear to my heart forever. So it was special to be able to do it on this platform. And like nothing against Dolly, but right. Like I always hear the Whitney. I mean, I hear Dolly, but I always hear the Whitney version. Absolutely. I mean, like, and again, I think the reason they maybe wanted to tie in Dolly was because I do have a country background and there's elements of my voice. And even in my performance, I think that lend itself to sort of like country music. And so they wanted a melding of Dolly and Whitney. And I, that's a tough combo to try to do justice to, but you know. Well, I mean, you did more than justice. I mean, that particular performance, like, I will always love you, that that song, like, did you, to me, it's like, well, you realize now you just won the competition or your top two or top three. Like, that was my hope for the song. That's why I strategically was like, okay, should I put this song here? Because it's my last resort of like, can we make it to the finals? But yeah. I mean, it was like, and you saw the judges like reactions. It was just, I mean, did you feel that? Like this was a performance that's yes. like so you know I'm gearing up to do I will always love you and psyching myself out obviously who dare touch this song um I'm shocked the producers let me do it was really my initial thing so I'm gearing up to do it and I was so nervous every performance that I would get out there I was more nervous than if I had not been masked for some reason so I was so terrified but I got through it I thank god because I kept being like am I not going to hit the note And once I got off stage, numerous crew members were coming up to me in actual tears. And I, that's when I was like, oh, I like, I can maybe take a breath and feel like I I did okay on that one. I I mean, Amy Chapman, who's my vocal coach, she actually is in real life and happened to be the vocal coach on the show. Um, She came back and was bawling. And I'm like, are you putting on a performance or did I really make you cry? Because that to me, like when I can bring out emotion in someone like that, I feel like I've done my job. Well, you more than did your job. You know, you're going to be asked to sing this song now, wherever you go. Like you're going to be at a oh, wedding, Lord. enjoying yourself. This is, I'm just deeming this your song. You can follow oh, in Whitney's footsteps. Thank you. That's a terrifying thing to think about, but sure. I'll, I'll practice some more. <laughs> well, you do have new music. Talk to me about Open Your Mouth, a new song, a new video. I watched the video. It's, it's so catchy, this song. Thank you. Um, I wrote this song three years ago with my friends, Simon Reed and Kaylee Shore. Kaylee's actually an amazing artist herself. And she came to the right that day. And she was like, I ran into my ex-boyfriend at a bar and, you know, he looked really good. I almost forgot why we even broke up. And then we started talking, he opened his mouth and I was like, right, that's exactly why it didn't work out in the first place. And that was just a concept that I'd never written about before. And it seemed like a fun, cheeky idea. So we ended up writing this song. Um, And the music video was a labor of love. My boyfriend, Greg Furman, and I are both in the entertainment, like film and TV industry. And so we have experience working in front of him behind the camera. And I gave us a massive job to do this music video completely by ourselves with no other crew. Um, And that was a journey. But I'm very glad that it is finally done and going to be out tomorrow. It's perfect for a song of the summer. Thank you. Thank you. I want it to be that song that people can sing along to in the car and, you know, hopefully remind them to not text their ex. (laughs) Don't ever text the ex people. I mean, come on. What, what about, was Erica Goldberg always like, was she always like musical or did they write that into the character for you or were they looking for someone that could also sing? They, Erica Goldberg was not originally musical. I had a meeting with Adam F. Goldberg, the creator, right after I booked the pilot because he wanted to kind of give everyone some background story because this is about his real family. And it's this character is based on his eldest brother, Eric, that they turned into a sister for the show, um, which thank God they did, because otherwise I wouldn't have had a job. Um, And I had mentioned to him briefly, I'm like, by the way, I'm a singer songwriter if there's ever a chance for me to write a song that could maybe play in the credits of an episode like you know really stretch it um I was like let me know and he ended up writing an episode where Erica got to perform at the talent show and that was kind of what opened the gates to her then doing all these cover songs over the last nine years how happy were you that you got to sing on the show or that you get to 
I'm, it's the best thing ever. It's the melding of my two favorite things. And I've learned a lot about songs that I maybe didn't listen to growing up. I've gotten to cover songs that I like. I had a Whitney, I will always dance with somebody is my favorite song of all time. And I was able to convince Adam to let me do a like ballad rendition that I I've done in my own personal time on the show. So it's, it's just so special that I can combine those two things. Did you, I mean, I, I know you started in the business at a young age, but did you ever want to be anything else but singer, actor, actress? Like, any, or did you ever have any I, other things? I mean, not ever like seriously enough that I was pursuing it. Um, when I was really little, I wanted to be like a forensic scientist because <laughs> I loved those like crime shows. Mm. Um, but I'm not good with that kind of material. So <laughs> I think it's probably for the best. I also didn't do great at science. Um, but other than that, my, I come from a family of florists. So I was like, if anything, I have that as a backup. That's a good backup. Yeah. Did you ever think when you, you know, took this part or got this part of Erica Goldberg, I mean, we just finished season nine. I mean, nine years, like, could you ever see this happening? No. And I've been talking about this with my cast members, uh, recently because, you know, you audition for a show, you hope you book it you get the pilot, you hope it gets picked up for a season. You just, there's no guarantee. I've seen so many friends of mine come out to LA and book pilot after pilot and it get canceled after one season. And it's such a shame. And so to be on a show that's network television doing 22 episodes a year, which doesn't happen anymore. And now we're going into a 10th season. is just we feel like dinosaurs uh, as far as TV goes. Like this is the last wave of those kinds of shows. It just doesn't happen like that. So we're incredibly grateful. And I don't think any of us saw it happening this way, despite how much we really hoped for it, because we genuinely love working together. And the more we get to do that, the better. Were you guys shocked? Like, you know, you said like pilots and you get so excited and it goes nowhere. We all know how this business works. Were you guys shocked about season 10, you know, just because there's been like cast changes and the storyline, like Adam graduates, like what a perfect way to end the show. If you're going to end it, were you shocked like as a cast? Yes, because there were a lot of things involved that, you know, created this question around, are we going to be able to come back? Um, And it's, it was a tough call because we lost two series regulars for the show, which is, that's a big hit to take. Um, but also because it was wrapping up this timeline of Adam graduating high school, we always thought that that would be the end of it. Um, so there was a part of us that thought like we might not be coming back for another season, which was hard to wrap our heads around. So when we got the call that it was happening, um, it was just like, okay, let's do this. Like, we're just so ecstatic to get back in there. And there's so many great storylines that are kind of going to come out of this next season with Erica being pregnant and Adam going to college. So we're really hopeful for what the season is going to look like. I was going to say, and with like cast changes, like, I mean, it could lead to, you know, like just kind of new life being bred and bred into the show. Not that it needed it, but it just, it's kind of an exciting time for the show. Yeah, I mean, when you're in a 10th season of a show after a while, it's like, okay, we're in this repetitive nature. Like, this is in a way a blessing to switch up a little bit, maybe bring some new people on. I have no idea what the writers and producers have planned for the show, but I know the cast has a lot of great um, ideas and, and hope for what this next season will be.